Ed, and welcome to another edition of A Shave and a Song. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to a show that, that takes an everyday task, like shaving, although uh, it's shaving with a straight razor, and we kind of combine it with listening to some good pieces of music. I mean, you might as well enjoy your time uh, in the bathroom while you're doing your shaving, and, uh, and just be able to listen to some stuff that just get you going for the day. So that's kind of the purpose of the show. Maybe even to introduce you to artists or genres that you have not been familiar with in the past. Maybe broaden your taste a little bit. I hope you like it. Uh, let's see. Let's just jump right into it today. Let's just do it. Labor Day weekend. Today I'm going to be shaving with my uh, Dovo uh, Best Quality. It is uh, 6 eighths, and as you all know, if you've been watching the show, I've rescaled it. Uh, made the made the scales myself out of zebra wood. I thought it turned out pretty well. I'm pretty happy with that. Uh, shaving with a homemade shaving soap. I've been dabbling around in making my own shaving soap, so I don't have a label to show you just yet. I, I do, but I, I need to actually print them out. <laughs> So this is uh, what I call peppermint twist. It's kind of a combination of peppermint, eucalyptus, and um, and some menthol crystals. So it's got a really nice cooling feel to it. And then if you're gonna go that route, if you're gonna cool the face down today, might as well kick it in with some Dr. John's Savannah Sunrise. That really adds to the kick after the whole thing's done. And uh, well, I love this, you know, you know it is. Uh, Club Man Panad, you gotta have it. You gotta start the day off right. Keeps you going all day long. So, uh, so let's just jump right in there. Glad you're all here today. Hope you're enjoying your your long weekend. So, you know the, what I like about this uh, peppermint twist. I've seen. I think I've got the recipe down pretty good because it just really lathers up very very quickly. And I, I enjoy shaving with this, so I, I'm on to something here. Don't know if I'll ever sell any of it. It's just kind of my own personal use. I don't know if I have the time to go through all that marketing around and things like that, but uh, good stuff. Good stuff. See, it foams up really nice. Really nice. There we go. Nice, rich, creamy lather, not too big of bubbles. I think just a just perfect amount. Do a little bit more and we'll get started. So one of the things that I've really come to enjoy about doing this particular YouTube show is being able to feature artists, bands, whatnot from uh, you know a wide variety of of a uh, wide variety of genres and uh, all over the world too. You know, we've heard from from artists in Brazil, from Mongolia, of course England. Uh, also the United States, all over the United States. And today, I'm going to add to that list, and we're going to feature a band from Sweden. And no, I'm not talking about Ava. I think they were from Sweden, weren't they? Pretty sure they were. But no, that's not who I'm featuring today. Boy, I love that scuttle. It really adds to the, to the richness of the shaving cream. If you don't shave with a scuttle, try it out. All right, we'll wet the soap, wet the face down here, and get ready to go. So it's a Swedish band, and the band you uh, you may be familiar with a different band that a lot of the members came from. Three quarters, <laughs> three out of the four members of the band Greenleaf is who I'm featuring today. They came from the Swedish band Dozer. A hard rock band from Sweden. And so Greenleaf started out as kind of a side project for two out of the four members of Dozer back in 19, late 1999, early 2000. And then by 2003, a third member of Dozer joined the band. So that, that was three quarters of the band Dozer now in Greenleaf. And it, remember, Greenleaf is supposed to be a side project. So they started thinking and said, you know, hey, look, we're we gotta, we gotta go back to Dozer. You know, we're all the band, all the members from Dozer are coming over to Greenleaf. We might as well just stay in Dozer. So they kind of put Greenleaf on hold for a few years, and then in 2007 they relaunched 
green leaf with some uh, with some new members. Uh, the guitarist and the bassist have been constant throughout, and they've kind of fine tuned themselves from 2007 to about 2014, and uh, the current lineup has been around since 2014. Start the first pass. September 2nd, so that means I need to refresh all my razors again, all two of them. <laughs> Some guys have a big assortment of straight razors, I just have two and I like them both. So Greenleaf is, um, I guess the genre would be hard rock or also stoner rock. You've heard me play a song uh, in that genre before, several months ago. I'm really going to have to get more into the stoner rock because there's a lot of great pieces out there that I'm hearing. I think the name implies, uh, you know, smoking a lot of weed, but I, I think that I think you really got to get past that and start listening to a lot of the music that's in that category because it's really good. Sometimes it's hard to get in that well right here. Today I'm having some difficulties. Normally it's not a big deal. Today, I don't know what the deal is today. I'll get it on the up pass. So anyway, they've been consistent with the member since 2014. And... Uh, it shows because when I, every time I listen to uh, Greenleaf, I always come away thinking these guys are tight, uh, and, and and they are, they're really tight. Good sound. Now I first came across them not too terribly long ago. You know, I had my uh, Spotify playlist going, and, and you know how Spotify goes when you when it runs out of your your playlist that you programmed into it, it starts adding songs randomly that it thinks you might like. And all of a sudden, I was uh, a song came on and. Right away, that opening drum line, that opening drum beat caught my attention, and then the driving bass came in with the, uh, gu the power guitar chords. And I knew I liked this. As a matter of fact, within 30 seconds after hearing it, of hearing it, 30 seconds into the song, I, I went over to my phone and added it to the playlist. Like the song. Uh, it's called uh, Ocean Deep is what I'm referring to. That's a song we're going to feature today. Face might have been a little dry. That may be why it was catching a little bit. That and it's time to refresh. So it intrigued me when I heard the song, and I listened to a few other numbers of Ocean of, uh, of uh, Greenleaf, and I liked them. Good band, good sound. I like, like I said, I really like the current lineup. They do a good job. So what I'd like to do. 
What I'm going to do is feature a song from their 2014 album, Trails and Passes. It is called Ocean Deep, and this is a band that describes themselves. i got to read how they describe themselves. They say uh, they are a righteous kick in the ass and a testament to the almighty riff. <laughs> I like that. Uh, you'll, I think you'll like them because uh, they really remind me, when I was listening to them, they really remind me they have some, they have aspects of like uh, Richie Blackmore from Black Sabbath, the Allman Brothers uh, has some feel in there, and then, you know, every now and then I get a taste of The Doors, maybe a little bit of Jim Morrison on the vocals, just a little bit, not a lot, like, you know, I don't want anybody to, to comment and saying, oh, I didn't hear any of that. I, I'm hearing some of the styles, and so I think maybe these were some of their influences. And it's fantastic, because uh, it really paid, I mean, it really makes for a great sound all the way through. So let's do it. Let's do uh, Greenleaf Oceans Deep, or Ocean Deep, from their 2014 album, Trails and Passes.
go. Green Leaf from Sweden, 2014 song Ocean Deep from their album Trails and Passes. You gotta love it. Gotta love it. Kind of addicting, isn't it? You know, I'm, I really like the way that this uh, peppermint twist, like I said, you can feel it on your face even after you're, you're done shaving. It's, it's that, that menthol has that cooling effect. And then when you put the cold water on while I'm doing now, that really brings it out. And then, then when I put that aftershave on, that aftershave, it's going to be really, really nice. I like that feeling. It doesn't burn. All right. So let's clean the razor real quick, and then we'll do the aftershave. I hope you enjoyed today's show. As always, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. And in the comments section, you know, tell me what you think. Tell me what you like. Uh, suggest an artist and a song that uh, maybe would go great for the show. I love hearing new stuff. Uh, even if it's stuff I'm already familiar with, uh, it might be something that's not on the list. I'm always adding to the list. And... Share this, uh, share this site, share this show with other people, you know, pass it around. We're, we're kind of a, a, a small, close-knit group right now, and that's fine. Uh, it's a lot of fun just to do the show. I'm not really in it for the numbers, but it'd be kind of fun just to see the show expand a little bit and, uh, and get brought out to more people. So make sure you share it around, uh, let people know it's out there. Maybe they'd like it too. I know it's a little weird watching a guy shave and playing music, but uh, it's also a lot of fun, isn't it? Uh, so there we go. Oh, oh, Greenleaf, one last thing. This is a message to the band. I know that I think there was a Chicago date in the past that got missed, and maybe uh, you'll reschedule Chicago again, but I have some coveted shaving t-shirts, one of which I'm wearing today, my Gecko Hawaiian shaving t-shirt. I'm always about uh, offering a trade to the bands or the artists that I feature. You ever in the Chicago area? Hey, send me a set of tickets. I will give you this coveted shaving t-shirt or one of your choice. I have several that I wear throughout the show. So I'm shamelessly, shame, I admit it, fully admit it, shamelessly looking for tickets to see the artists that I feature. And uh, these are prized possessions of mine. So there you go. All right, so we shaved with my Peppermint Twist homemade shaving cream, homemade shaving soap. Did really well. Still got a lot there. I could do another, uh, another three passes probably. Now we're going to finish off with some Dr. John's Savannah Sunrise. Are you ready for this? This is really going to cool down the face along with that peppermint and eucalyptus. Oh, yeah, there we go. Woo! That's nice. <sighs> Massage it in a little bit. There we go. And then, of course, I'm going to finish off after we're done with the show today with Club Man Panade. That's a must. Just leaves you feeling good all day long. Well, that's it for today, people. Again, like and subscribe, share the show around. Let's get it out there. And uh, thanks to Greenleaf for, uh, for being the featured artist today. I hope you enjoyed them. Check out their other stuff. Great stuff out there. I like to watch their live videos, too. It's, uh, they're a lot of fun to watch live. So until next time, my friends, enjoy your weekend, live life, and happy shaving.